what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel and today we'll be doing something a little bit different this is called the screwed toy chest where we look at older figures that i picked up in the last couple of weeks and i give you my overall thoughts and pretty much just a short and sweet review of the figure a lot of these are pretty old uh, <laughs> i've just been you know slowly picking these up as uh you know i still had gift cards for gamestop and um just figures that you know didn't really quite catch my interest at first but you know slowly and surely i got around to picking them up but uh, yeah, I think we'll start off with Snake Eyes and Timber. And here we have Snake Eyes and Timber. Again, it is a two-pack that costs about $44.99, if I'm not mistaken. It is still widely available on Hasbro Pulse, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store. But I got mine off of GameStop.com. Did have a gift card that was uh, given to me by my sisters. And I ended up using that to buy these two. Straight out of the package, I wasn't a big fan of Snake Eyes himself, as he did have a vest on him on his uh, torso they pretty much just restricted all articulation here in the upper body but once i removed the vest by heating up the arms popping them off taking the head off and slowly shimmying shimmying that off because this was a very very tight fit on that torso i actually did think it was glued on but uh no it was just really tightly placed on there uh i fell in love with the figure once that was off as uh <laughs> that you know the articulation on the on the torso got immediately better and uh yeah man i pretty much been carrying this figure around for the last couple of days since i've had him the accessories are great he comes with three guns this one that he's holding he comes with and and, and don't make fun of me actually he comes with four guns but don't make fun of me i don't know the name of any of them i'm not a gun nut or anything but they are very nicely detailed i believe they are all real guns the magazines are removable which is pretty great attention to detail in my opinion and then uh, this one, I don't believe it's removable, but the one that he is holding is removable, as you can see there, uh, which is quite nice. And then you hear a very nice pop and clicking sound when you put that in, so you don't have to worry about it falling out. He does come with a pistol, and then he comes with a silencer that uh, you can... Ooh, let's see if I can shimmy that out. The silencer uh, does plug into the pistol, and now you have a silencer on your pistol. And I don't know how well you can see it as... Um, Black on black doesn't really work out that well. But uh, yeah, that is very nice. <clears throat> and then he does have a blade here on his side that fits fairly snugly into that sheath. And uh, yeah, so very nice accessories with Snake Eyes. But the main reason I picked this figure up for this two pack up was for Timber. And the reason I picked up Timber was to have alongside with like Craven. This two pack is actually my first set of GI Joe, GI Joe, GI Joe figures that I have in my collection. I've never picked up any GI Joe figures or really mess with them. But once I got them in hand, man, I, I instantly fell in love with them again. Once I removed that vest from Snake Eyes, it was just so much better of a figure. And uh, maybe I'll pick some more up, but uh, I'm not too sure. I do want Croc Master and Fiona, I believe is the name of the alligator, to put alongside Craven. But uh. Here, Timber came with two head sculpts. He came with this angry one. And then he came with a... And popping the heads off is quite difficult. <clears throat> came with a lot... Uh, one with a, a more relaxed face. A lot more calmer and stuff. But it, it, it is very, very nice. Articulated Wolfman. The head is on a ball peg here. The neck moves. He does have ball jointed shoulders or legs. And then he does have a single hinge knee right there and then as well as the calf i don't know what you would call this but he has a whole bunch of articulation down here even down at the paw he has rockers uh he has a mid diaphragm cut here in the middle he has a ball jointed leg i mean leg tail again really really nice attention to detail of this uh figure again snake eyes is probably my favorite out of the two but <clears throat> just great amount of attention to detail on these two man but uh yeah very nice set. I do recommend it. The articulation is pretty great on both of these figures. Uh, I'm not going to go over Snake Eyes because it's pretty standard G.I. Joe. He has drop down hips. He has a ball joint at the, at the waist. Butterfly joints. And uh, yeah, man. Really, really nice set. Next, here we have the Hasbro Fortnite Victory Royale Series. A great shark collectible action figure with accessories. And uh, yeah, this shark right here. I'm not too familiar with the Fortnite property. It is a, I guess, upgraded kit to um, give accessories to your Fortnite figures. 
not too sure what this is about the shark or anything but it is a nice looking shark man it is you know very animated style though um, not realistic but the attention to detail is pretty nice if you give it a nice wash you could bring out all these nice little scars here the fins do tend to pop off fairly easy uh, more than i would like it does have an articulated jaw which is quite cool uh, but the cool thing about this figure is that he pops straight in the middle oh, and there goes some of the accessories and um yeah this truck pretty much is just a holder for your fortnite accessories uh and he comes with a nice amount of cool accessories the reason i picked this figure up was for a little shotgun that it came with as you can see there if i can get it to focus he comes with uh, i'm not too sure what this is it's like a jar with water in it so i'm not, I'm not sure what's up with that he comes with a pair of skis so these would go cool with like um deadpool and stuff comes with a sushi bling i believe is what they call the little backpacks you put on your fortnite characters which is quite nice and then it comes with a fishing pole so yeah you can do a lot of things with this the main reason i pick i pick this up the accessories for was for uh my plunderlings uh as i have one of them right here uh, i put the shotgun on the back of this plunderling right here and boom he has a shotgun on his back which is quite nice and then um, giving a fishing pole to some bone over here yeah you can do so much with these little accessories unfortunately the skis don't fit on this figure uh, they do fit on most six inch figures so if i bring in hammerhead over here uh, you can see that his foot just slides right in there and uh yeah has a little peg hole right there uh not sure if i can peg it but yeah you can have him skiing and stuff And Hammerhead wants to take a day off from work and go skiing. So, very nice set. I believe it runs around $22, which is a little bit pricey. But, you know, uh, the prices on plastic is going up right now. And uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. But I think it's well worth it. Next, here we have one of my first ever Mythic Legions. I believe this one's called Mephitter. Mephitter. <laughs> Not too sure, man. The, the names on these characters are pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, he's pretty okay, man. I wasn't a big, big fan of him. I wasn't too blown away. The ad attention to detail and the sculpt on this figure is quite nice. It's really, really well crafted. The articulation is where it really lets me down. Uh, the accessories are pretty bare, bone minimum. Um, he comes with a uh, bow and arrow. Not too sure what to call this. Comes with a sword right here. And he also does come with a shield, which I don't know where I placed. Oh, here it is. Um, comes with a solid blue shield with some very nice metallic paint here on the studs and uh, just a simple grip for it and uh, I'm not a fan when he grips it it kind of looks a little awkward uh, to be honest with you so if I can get him gripped real quick oh, shimmying that shield on his hand um, as you can see it just kind of looks a little bit off a little bit awkward um, yeah he is quite nice again he comes with a few accessories the sword shield and bow and arrow comes with some shoulder pads that you can attach through the back right there um if i pop that on which way does it go which way does it go uh, we're figuring this out together as we go guys but uh yeah popping on that shoulder pad it's quite stiff but once you put it on it looks nice uh the reason i removed it is just hinders articulation more than you know the articulation um, already is uh, it's pretty limited single jointed elbows no upper bicep swivel um, he has a diaphragm cut here in the middle and a ball joint at the waist he has upper thigh cuts single jointed knees so it's pretty decent for a little character but most mythic legions are pretty much like this uh, he also does come with this little uh, leash right here around his chest he does come with a collar um, when you pop it on he can look a little bit more badass i guess if you want to say but yeah i did buy this guy uh, pre-owned uh and i believe he was supposed to come with a second head of a uh troll or, or ogre or gremlin or whatever the hell you want to call it but yeah it was missing the head unfortunately um if i can find a picture i'll put it somewhere right here but he's pretty cool little character man he's a little skunk i believe is what it's supposed to be and uh yeah you know if you want a little skunk character and armor uh Hit up Mythic Legions. I believe they do pretty well stuff. I, I know them for their Mythic Legions. They do the Cosmic Legions that I believe are coming out later this year. 
And uh, again, pretty solid figure, man. Not not too crazy about it, but he's pretty cool. Um, pretty sure I'm going to keep this guy as I do like him. But I uh, don't know if I'll be getting any more. And here we have the neck of many faces of Pennywise. And this is pretty much the ultimate pack of Pennywise. If you missed out on every other release of Pennywise by NECA, this one comes with every single head sculpt, every single accessory that the previous ones did come with. So if you want just one definitive Pennywise, this right here is the way to go. 10 heads again, all with crazy different expressions. As you can see, this one has, the, has his hair kind of blown in the wind. Uh, this one is a more human looking one. I believe from the second movie over here we have one with um, more of a demonic expression on his face yeah i'm not gonna go over all of them but you pretty much get the gist of it he does come with a separate collar piece which is a little bit more flared no a little bit less flared than the one that he's wearing he comes with several hands a demonic hand over here uh, as you can see very nice attention to detail with the black spotting on that gray skin and those yellow nails and uh, he comes with the arm of Georgie, which is pretty sad, man. Uh, it's pretty messed up. And then he also comes with the little paper boat, the SS Georgie. Uh, if I can get it to focus, it's very hard to do as it's very, very tiny. Right, right there. And then uh, he does come with this red balloon that does have a bandy wire here on the string. And it is removable. Just slide it out hey. nice and slowly. Don't want to break that. I'm just looking at Pennywise. It is, you know, your standard Pennywise. Same articulation as the other one. Oh, and uh, this one, his arm tends to pop off quite easily. But yeah, he gets single jointed elbows, um, double jointed knees, um, ankle rotation, a ball at the waist, and his head is a separate neck piece. And um, it, see, that arm seems to fall off pretty easy. But yeah, before I break my Pennywise, uh, pretty solid figure. Again, kind of a little bit loose on the joints, but still a solid figure. If you want a definitive Pennywise, this is the way to go. And I believe the price point is about 60 bucks, which is not a bad deal, man. You're getting a lot of stuff for 60 bucks. So if you want a Pennywise, I believe he is a, I don't want to say a Walmart exclusive, but that's where I found mine. So yeah, pretty dope Pennywise, man. Uh, I recommend picking it up if you want one in your collection. Next up here we have the Marvel Legends Hugh Jackman Wolverine and he is a pretty solid figure overall. Uh, I'm not going to go too much in detail as uh, this is a pretty older figure I believe from 2019 I want to say. He does come with two head sculpts and two sets of pants. He has a gritted angry version of Hugh Jackman right there which is you know not the greatest likeness but pretty spot on. And he also does come with a more calm, neutral, relaxed Hugh Jackman right there, which is, I think is my favorite out of the two. He comes with two sets of claws. He comes with the adamantium claws that do look quite nice. And then he also does come with a set of bone claws, which look nasty and gnarly, man. All that yellow paint on that bone looks really, really dope. I really do like it. The attention to detail and scope is very nice. Uh, I think it's a lot of reuse. I think we've seen these pants before, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these boots do look quite nice. No detail on them or anything. They're just a flat plastic right there. Just a little bit, little bit unfortunate, but all that is made up by the jeans. As you can see, all this nice texture on the denim. He does have a Native American uh, belt buckle right there. That does look nice. The arms are pinless. I believe this is one of the first times we had seen that. He does come with this iconic tank top. So it is nice and it is nicely sculpted. Those lines are sculpted on there. And uh, yeah, solid figure, man. Butterfly joints. He has a dumbbell joint at the head. And uh, yeah, really solid figure. Can't really say much more than that. If you want a Hugh Jackman action figure, here it is, man. This is the way to go. And last but not least, here we have two of my favorite figures in this toy haul. We have Charizard and Articuno. And these are the Pokemon Select action figures and these i believe if i'm not mistaken are target exclusive that's the only place i've been able to find these they do come in a wave of four so far we've only gotten charizard articuno and that frog i can't remember the name on top of my head too many pokemons and uh they just announced rayquaza rayquiza i can't remember the name of him either um really spotted with my pokemon memory right now but uh 
yeah man very solid figures they don't come with much but they do come with flight stands popping them off articuno is pretty damn amazing uh he has a ball joint at the wing so it can shift forward and back quite a great amount as you can see there he does have a joint here at the mid wing he has a hinge at the thigh double jointed uh i don't know what you would call that back knees uh, backwards knees I, i'm not too sure he does have a ball joint here at the ankle a hinge at the back toe and then each toe at the foot or claw is individually hinged which is pretty damn great man uh, he has a bendy wire tail which is crazy man that thing is pretty dope his head is pretty limited though it doesn't look up doesn't look down it's just on a swivel which is my least favorite thing about this figure but not not too bad yeah man and for 20 bucks these both of these are 20 bucks man you're you're getting a hell of a deal with with these figures these are i would say close to import quality if if i do say so myself that's my opinion don't come at me oh. <laughs> charizard is my favorite of the two though he is pretty damn great as well uh way more articulated than articuno but that's just because of the style of the character or the you know design of the character he has double jointed elbows the band in quite nice upper bicep swivel ball jointed arms he has a swivel at the wrist he has a ball joint at the neck or a hinge at the neck right there at the lower neck a ball joint at the upper neck he has a hinge mouth so you can open and close as well he has hinges at the wings and mid wing he has a hinge at the lower tail at the mid tail and at the bottom of the tail and uh does the fire oh, nope the fire does not rotate he has ball joints at the hip so his legs can you know shift a little bit in and out not much they do you know move forward back single jointed knee that gets a decent amount of range he gets ankle pivot which is you know great for a um huge dragon monster and yeah again doesn't come with much man but the attention to detail on this figure is crazy man and uh yeah these are some of my favorite figures in my collection especially because they're 20 dollar figures and you get some crazy articulation on on these things man pretty much close to the sh figure arts pokemon figures the, these things are like rivaling that pretty damn close it's it's uh again you know those are higher end figures and they're pretty expensive and these are twenty dollars and they do pretty much the same thing i will say though one of my least favorite things about these figures are these huge you know pin holes or peg holes on the thighs and then um some of the joints can look a little bit off sometimes like right there but again it's the beast of the nature when you're paying twenty dollars figure twenty dollars for an uh action figure and there you have it a very solid set of figures if i do say so myself and uh yeah man I know this time around was a little bit sloppy as it was my first time doing this segment. I will try to do it um, as often as possible. I do have quite a few figures coming in that are a little bit older that have came out in the last year or so. So I try to do another haul video. Uh, and again, I will be calling this the Screw Toys, Screw Toys Toy Chest. Still working on it, I know. Um, but uh, yeah, man, again, my favorite out of these are the Pokemon figures, which pretty much blew me away. I will say that Snake Eyes is pretty much neck and neck with these figures. And all of them bring something unique to my collection, man. I don't have a Mythic Legion, so this being an entryway to the Mythic Legion line was pretty cool. Again, I'm not too sure if I'll dip my toes in more Mythic Legions as it's uh, a pretty expensive line, man. Uh, each figure goes about 50 bucks, 40 bucks. And the articulation isn't the greatest, but it is, it's okay. Uh, I will say they do have this dragon figure that looks pretty dope. We'll put a picture up on the screen and uh, I'm pretty tempted by that one. I believe they also have a genie that's up for pre-order pre that I'm really interested in. Um, G.I. Joe figures, first figures as well into the line. And uh, yeah, pretty blown away. Um, I know I said earlier that I'm not sure if I'll be picking any more up, but I'll probably pick up, uh, what's his name? Storm Shadow and uh, Spirit and Croc Master. Those are for sure coming into my collection. Uh, this... Over here, Fortnite figures, pretty goofy. Didn't really want it. Wanted the accessories more than anything. But he's pretty cool, man. Kind of stands out in my collection. Pennywise, I just had to have him. I uh, have him. I didn't have any Pennywise in my collection. And uh, this one pretty much was the definitive Pennywise, the buy one and be done with uh, Pennywise. So picked him up for a pretty good price. 
And then Hugh Jackman. I had a Hugh Jackman in my collection, man. Uh, I have several Wolverines, but no Hugh Jackman Wolverine. And with Multiverse of Madness coming out in the next couple of months, I have a really strong feeling that he will be showing up. So he's only going to skyrocket. So I got him for a pretty good price at the flea market. And yeah, pretty happy to have him in my collection. And yeah, man, let me know if you guys like this segment. Let me know if you want to see more of it. I enjoyed it. I know it was uh, pretty chaotic and, and messy as I was trying to get through these pretty quick because uh, it was quite a few figures. And uh, I promise I'll try to make it a little bit more, you know, better, a little bit more cohesive and a little bit more. Um, well, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit more organized. There we go. As uh, again, it was a little bit chaotic. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. The links to all of those are in the description down below. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.